Well, when a client comes to me, let's say after a holiday, and they haven't been with me all year, I immediately start them on a really strict regimen because they need it. They've been eating haphazardly, whatever they want, all year. They've been binging on the worst foods. They've not been exercising. They've not been doing cardio, which you should be doing all year. You shouldn't wait till the New Year's resolution to roll around or Christmas is over, so now I can finally start. You should be doing it all year round. But uh, this is how I treat a client that comes to me right out of the gate, January 1st, 2nd, 3rd, whatever. Um, I immediately start them on a five-day regimen. Treadmill for one hour, fasted, first thing in the morning, five days a week. Now there's a particular heart rate you have to get to, elevation, miles per hour that you're walking, speed, all that jazz. I'm just gonna run through the basics. That's one hour times five days a week. You have to do that fasted. Um, you then train five days a week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you're gonna train, you're gonna take Saturday, Sunday off because you need two days to recover. Your nervous system has to recover. So we break their body parts up. Actual fitness training five days a week, cardio five days a week. When I send them home after they train, which they typically would be training after they do their cardio, I don't let them eat for one hour post training. So if you finish training at 11 in the morning, 11 a.m., you don't get your first meal until noon. You gotta wait one more hour because you're still burning body fat. We gotta get the most amount of fat off as possible. The first meal that I would allow a client is gonna be very minimal carbohydrates and it would be in the form of a jasmine rice, a brown rice, a white rice. It's gonna be rice. I keep things very basic, very simple. I don't give my clients too many options because typically they screw up the more options you give them. We have to protect muscle so you have to eat protein. You have to protect muscle so you have to take in mono and polyunsaturated fats. That's how you protect muscle. Therefore, you can do more cardio because you're protecting muscle and you're building muscle. Some clients I only let eat three times a day. Some clients I'll allow four meals, five meals, or six meals, depending on those goals. The last few meals of the day, I pull carbohydrates. I don't let my clients take in. Like If I'm allowing them four meals, two meals will have carbs. Two meals will not have carbs. The last two meals of the day, I will increase the poly and monounsaturated fat and I will pull the carbohydrate from them. The more muscle a person carries, the more protein they have to take in. It's that simple. The resting metabolic rate will be higher because they carry more muscle. Therefore, they have to take in more protein because their body is absorbing through protein synthesis throughout the day, more amino acids, more protein. Fat builds muscle as well. Therefore, we have to take in the proper amount of fat. Carbohydrates just replenish glycogen. Glycogen is nothing more than muscle fuel, so that when you're training, you have fuel in the muscle to carry the weight, the load, the duration, the uh, amount of repetitions that you're throwing at yourself. That's what the glucose, the glycogen, that's what it's used for, okay? When somebody needs to get in shape, I like to deplete them of glycogen and use stored body fat as their energy source. It is much harder. It is much more complicated to keep endurance up while you're in the gym, but you get leaner faster. It's called sacrificing. I'll do this with a client. I will stick them with a diet for about five weeks. If, a di if the client cheats on the diet, if the client doesn't show up for training, if I see that the client isn't at all interested, they hired me for no reason, I fire myself. I will not train that client a second month. If they're not interested, I'm not interested. And I damn sure ain't doing it just for the money. I'm doing it because I wanna see people reach their goals. I wanna see people better themselves. Therefore, if they suck, I walk. And that's how it should be. Anybody that just sticks around as a personal trainer to talk to your client and you're, you're more of a uh, psychiatrist than you are an actual trainer, they're just in it for the money. And I see a lot of trainers like that. Anyway, um, so we do that for 
five to six weeks. I then change the diet after six weeks. If the person has been 100%, they're doing everything they need to do, the cardio has been spot on, the training is spot on. We then don't adjust the training. I don't adjust the cardio. I adjust the food after six weeks. And every six weeks thereafter, I continue to adjust the food intake until this person looks their absolute best. If I need to, I will adjust the cardio. Every week I adjust the training as far as weight load, repetitions go, adding exercises. We're always doing that. But the, the major game changer that's going to be consistently adapted is the diet. We are constantly changing the diet because the person is getting better. And as you begin to see a better physique, the new physique needs different nutrition. If, <clears throat> if you start the year out on diet X and you end the year on diet X, you are going to look no different throughout the year. You're not gonna look any freaking different. Nothing is gonna happen to you because you gave your body the same exact nutrition plate day after day after day after day. That goes for training, that goes for cardio. It all has to adapt, it all has to change as your body improves. The exercises have to improve, the diet has to improve, the cardio has to improve, even the sleeping has to improve. Okay, the vitamins that you take, the supplements that you take, uh, you, you, you begin to change everything because your body wants to adapt to what you're doing. Therefore, you have to trick the body and continue to do and improve new ways of putting on muscle and, and taking off fat. So that's the basics. That is the basics. It's a combination of a cardio regimen. It's five days a week. It's training and it's diet. You have to flip the switch and you have to do it all year round. Don't just do it because it's January. You have to do it all year around. Love the gym. Enjoy being in a fitness center and not a hospital because you're going to spend time in one of the two buildings. When you're younger, you can spend time in a fitness center, the bottom freaking line. When you're older, you can spend time in the hospital. Choose a building because you're going to end up in one or the other. I prefer a fitness center. I don't want to spend the last 10, 15 years of my life in and out of a hospital because I didn't take care of myself when it's so much easier to take care of myself and look good and feel good and have energy all throughout the day because you're doing the right thing. I have what is, what is called, I don't know why energy, I don't understand. Why do I have energy midday when most people are tired, when most people are falling apart, most people are complaining, people around me are yawning. Why do I have all this energy? It's because I'm doing what's right for my body, okay? So that's it, I hope that helps you guys. Um, if you need more information, I am a coach. I am a personal trainer. You can go to teddyzane.com and you can hire me to get you to the next level. Y'all have an awesome day. Ciao.